MetaTrader 5 is the latest version of the robust MetaTrader trading and charting application available from Alpari US. You can use MetaTrader 5 to learn to accomplish the basics of trading in the Forex or really dig into the functionality of custom indicators, backtesting, and automatic trade execution with expert advisors. Let's get started with this tutorial by downloading the application from the Alpari US website. Currently, I'm looking at the home page and will select the MetaTrader 5 logo on the right hand side of the page. This will open the demo registration page. At the top of the form, make sure that you select MetaTrader 5 and then fill in the rest of the information. Once that's been completed, press the register button. You will receive an email with the link that you need to download the application. You can see an example of this email that I received when I registered for the download here. You can start the download of the MetaTrader 5 application by clicking the download button right here. Depending on your operating system, you will be prompted to choose a location for the download to be saved. In my case, I saved the application to my desktop and can install it by double clicking the downloads icon. I will need to accept the license agreement, accept the default location for the application's installation, and launch the program. If you are installing this as a demo account, you will need to register by filling in this short form within the application. Once completed, click Next to get your username and password information. Make sure you write down your login credentials so that you can use them to log in next time. The MetaTrader 5 application is divided into four major sections. Starting in the upper left and working clockwise, you can see the market watch window with price quotes and tick charts. You can make sure that all the pairs and instruments available are showing by right-clicking your mouse and selecting Show All like this. Now all the available instruments will be showing in the Market Watch window. Next, the Charts window, which can be customized extensively, the Terminal window that contains important account and trade tracking information, as well as communications from Alpari US, and the Navigator window. All of these windows can be closed or minimized and then brought back as you need them. For example, let's minimize the charts we're looking at. I'll press the Minimize button at the top right of the Charts window, and the chart is now minimized, but you can still see it at the bottom of the Chart window, and it can be restored by clicking the tab for that chart here. If I close the Market Watch, Navigator, or Terminal windows on purpose or accidentally, they can also be restored by clicking View from the main menu and selecting the window I want to restore. You can see that here. One of the best things about MetaTrader 5 is that it is highly customizable. Suppose, for example, that you don't like the way that the charts are laid out in the charting window and want to change these to specific pairs and time frames that you prefer. We can do a couple of things to improve this quite a bit. For example, let's just say that you want to get rid of the charts that appeared by default. This can be done by exiting out of each chart by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner. We can then insert a new chart or charts by clicking the New Chart button in the upper left of the application and selecting the pair you want charted. The chart can be modified to look like a candlestick chart by clicking the candlestick button here, or it could be turned into a bar chart by clicking the bar chart button right here. The time frame that the chart covers can also be changed to suit your own investing style. You can do this by right-clicking within the chart and selecting Periodicity. Let's change this chart to a daily period just to show how it's done. You can open other charts and modify or change their time frames and appearance by repeating the same process I just illustrated. You can also tile these charts by clicking Window and then the Tile option you want to use within the main application menu. To save this particular profile so that you can bring it up automatically the next time you start MetaTrader 5, just select the File menu, and then Profiles, and then Save As, title the profile, and the next time you start the application, you can shift to this profile or any others to give you a specific view of the market that you've created. Besides charts, the other window you'll be spending a lot of time in is the Terminal window at the bottom of the application. Each tab, starting from the left, will show you trades and orders, market exposure to each currency, account history, including past trades, news, messages from Alpari US, alerts, expert advisors, and a journal of your activity on the platform. Before we end our introduction to MetaTrader 5, let's walk through opening and closing an example trade. 
The process is relatively simple and can be accomplished with the following steps. First, click the New Order button in the main menu. Select the symbol or pair you plan to trade, the position size or volume of your order type. In this case, I'm going to trade the Australian US dollar currency pair with one full lot. I will leave the order type as instant execution, although I could set this as a pending order if I wished. Select buy or sell depending on whether you are trying to get long or short the pair. You can now see this position in my terminal window under trade. Let's now walk through the process of closing a trade. You can see here that I have a position already open on the Euro USD. I can close this position using the following steps. Right click on the positions row in the terminal window and select close order. I will confirm that the right pair and position size are listed in the order window and will click the large yellow close button underneath the sell and buy buttons. This is just one way to enter and close a position in MetaTrader 5. It is possible to trade off the charts directly by right clicking on the chart you want to trade or by right clicking on the pair you wish to trade from the market watch window. Test this yourself until you feel comfortable entering and exiting trades on your own. The basic features of the MetaTrader 5 application are barely scratching the surface of what you can do on the platform. There is a lot more to learn, but it is easy to get started. After watching this video, spend some time setting up some custom profiles for yourself and paper trading a few orders. We think you'll be pleased.